hi guys and welcome to the next video this video is another video from the series of minimalism and i am going to talking about how to save some money if you missed my last video i'm gonna put a link up somewhere here let's get down to the video So I would consider myself as a person who can save money. As a child I tried to put some money aside um, and have some savings for something huge that I wanted to buy. Now that I got older there are bills to pay and so it's always good to have something on site for the good times and for the bad times. So the first thing that I want to talk about are subscriptions and I think that you should unsubscribe emails if you want to save money. Um, it's good to have subscriptions if you want to stay updated but if we get emails a couple of times a day that there is a sale, there is a sale, there is 20% off, there is 70% off and you are kind of a person that it's really easy to fall for shopping you should definitely unsubscribe immediately another thing is um, eating outdoors if you want to save a lot of money do not eat outdoors anymore i mean of course it's okay from time to time to eat outdoors and meet friends and go for a drink or a dinner it's okay but if it becomes a habit it could be really hard on your purse try to make a homeway dinner and invite your friends to your place i mean you can still have a cozy and funny evening right try to save coins um i know that coins could be sometimes so annoying because they lie because they lie in our apartment, on the floor, or they are split over our handbags. But sometimes we uh, really need them and we do not have them by the hand. So try to put your coins um, in the little container every evening and uh, you will be very, very glad when you can use them someday. Make list. I know you might be annoyed about making lists for this and for that and for that, but um, it is really good to make lists uh, because we tend to buy only things that are that are on the list. Like for example, when you go um, grocery shopping, take your list with you and. Uh, buy only things that are on the list of course do not go hungry uh, check your refrigerator and your cupboards uh, before you go shopping write all the things down and buy only things that are on the list a good tip is to make a long-term item list means um, this is what I do. I write the things down that I want to buy. Um, they are expensive, but they are of a good quality and uh, these things also should um, last longer for longer period and over years. These leads are good because you um, try to wait and not buy cheap alternatives wait and think twice before you buy something means if you see something on sale don't go and buy things on sales sleep on it give yourself one or two days to think about the item um, and if you won't find excitement about the item anymore just let it go it saves you money and that's the fact because when we buy on sales of course things are really cheap but sometimes we don't even think about the item if we really need it and sometimes or most of the times 
we come home and then we realize that we actually do not need that stuff so yeah try to save this money it's also almost the same thing you should uh, not buy cheap things on sale instead of that we should invest in things that would last longer and over years try not to buy cheap things on the sale uh, just because it's cheap um, because cheap doesn't always mean good and most of the time the item that is cheap um, we it could get broken and we have to remove it and replace it again and that will cost you even more moving to my last but not least tip is um, homemade DIY or secondhand stuff what I mean is if you want to buy something think of it first if you could make it like on your own for example from the items that you already have at home or you can ask your family member, your friends, or maybe your neighbors if they have something similar um, that you could use. For uh, cheaper alternatives, uh, there are secondhand stores when you can find a lot of stuff and very, very cheap. Um, here, uh, cheap doesn't always mean bad because these items were maybe um, really really expensive once but someone simply don't use it anymore and they brought it to a secondhand store um, and the secondhand store is gonna sell it cheaper and I think if you don't have a lot of money you can invest in thing in second hands and I think it's great because I am also buying in second hand. Things I got in second hands are uh, clothes for sure and um, also books. One or two um, kitchen machines that I'm using. So these were my tips that I am practicing in my life. Um, of course, if you have any other tips for me, please share them with me in the comments down below. I would be so thankful for these. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about me and my life, you can visit my Instagram page or as I said, read my blog. Um, and for more 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 videos that I am uploading every Wednesday and every Sunday don't forget to subscribe <laughs> so I think I said everything all the links and everything is down in description box yeah so I hope I will see you at the next video until then I wish you a wonderful day and of course I hope I will see you soon have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>